There's a short poem written by Marguerite Wilkinson. She entitled it, Guilty. It goes like this. I never cut my neighbor's throat. My neighbor's purse I never stole. I never spoiled their house or land. But God have mercy on my soul. For I am haunted night and day by all the deeds I have not done, the unattempted loveliness, the costly valor never won. Well, I believe that today's gospel reading dramatizes that very same theme. The person in the story started with one talent piece and ended with one talent piece. They didn't lose anything, but they didn't gain anything. They didn't do anything wrong, but they didn't do anything right. In the strictest sense of the word, they did not fail, but they just didn't try. And for that, they receive one of the sternest reprimands to be found in the New Testament. Paul Harvey, the newscaster, talked about a group of people whose slogan in life is this, there is no use trying. Nothing is going to turn out right anyway. Well, if I felt that way, I certainly wouldn't try either. Cynicism is more than just a philosophy. Cynicism is a debilitating disease that works its way into the very tissues of the human soul and it paralyzes every effort of human living. You know, a person might say, why should I vote? One vote doesn't matter, and after all, politicians are all crooked. When I hear someone talk like that, I know that they have the same problem as the man in today's gospel. They have become cynical about life, and it doesn't stop with politics. Cynicism can pervade every area of human life. Look at religion, for example. A cynic probably says, why go to church? It's just filled with hypocrites from top to bottom. This is what cynics say about marriage and family life. Why should I get married? All it does is ruin good friendships in any way. I don't know one family that's really happy. That is cynicism. It can poison every area of human life. That was just one of the problems with the man in today's gospel. His other problem was fear of failure. Listen to him. Out of fear, I buried your talent in the ground. That's what he said. Their reasoning was that it was better to not try than to try and fail. They could not have been more wrong. You see, it isn't a sin to fail, not if you try. The only real failure is the failure to try. Have you ever stopped to consider how Jesus failed? Now, you may be shocked that I would ever say such a thing, but it's true. Jesus failed. He failed with Judas Iscariot. He failed with some of the Jewish officials. He even failed sometimes with his own family. We should be encouraged by that, at least encouraged to try. You know, if Jesus failed, it isn't a sin. The only real failure is the failure to try. Don't bury your life in the ground. That's what Jesus is saying. You know, this world is hurting for so many things. So many things that we have the ability to share with others. If you have the gift of love, or honesty, or justice, or the capacity for any virtue, dig it up, dust it off, and put it to use. And don't worry about the results, Jesus said. Let's just use what God has given us. And someday we may hear him say, 
Well done. You are industrious and reliable. Come and share my joy.